To begin drawing the padlock, we're going to start with the body using the circle tool. Once you have your desired dimension, you're going to click finish sketch and then we're going to extrude this piece the desired distance. To start the combo dial, we're going to right click on this face to create a new sketch. This allows us to start a new drawing with new dimensions on this surface. We're going to start with the largest diameter circle first. Before I extrude this shape, I need to create a new work surface. This needs to be extended in the Z axis, so you notice where the Z axis is here. We click on plane, and I'm going to click offset plane. I select that plane first, and now I type my distance, and it's going to offset that far making sure it's going in the right direction. Once we have the new plane, we're going to click start a new sketch on that plane. We select it and now we can draw our new shape on which we're going to loft one shape into the next. So once we have the new shape drawn on our new work plane, we go up to the loft tool we select our beginning and our end loft and then we click OK and you'll notice it tapers that extrusion so what I just did was I turned the visibility of the work plane off this allows us to view it without that work plane being in the way to finish the combo dial I'm going to click start new sketch and I need to draw a new shape the same exact size as the end of that shape right there and I'm going to create a new work plane offset from that surface I start a new sketch on that new work plane and this is going to be the end of the combo dial The last step is to loft from that big circle to the end circle. Now it might be a little tricky to select it so you have to just keep running the mouse over it until the area that you want is selected. At this point do not forget to save your work. It's so important that you save it in multiple steps.